Yo, what's going on guys? Don't press that here, bringing you another episode of The Walking Dead. We are going to go ahead and continue on our journey with episode 3. Um, just a little, like a side thought right before I started uh, recording. How would the episode have changed if we would have picked Doug to survive instead of Carly? Would he still have shot Andy or whatever? I don't know. It was just a thought. We're going to go ahead and continue now. Play. Loading. 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 I don't know what to talk about during the loading screens, especially in the very beginning, because I have nothing to talk about. Happy Easter. Oh, on The Walking Dead. Happy Easter. Even though it's Friday, I'm recording this on Sunday. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the episode won't have changed too drastically, but still. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't know what we're talking about. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. Already into the... decisions, Gene. From the next time on Walking Dead, it sounded like they were back in Macon. What day are they doing back here? Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Ooh. Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Well, I'm not gonna be able to climb that ladder, so... They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Okay. Alright, well, obviously, I'm gonna want to do this. Hmm. Looks like it still works. Don't I want to push the truck? Alright, hold on, let me... Uh, 
there. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Take your time, it's cool. Not like there's a zombie apocalypse coming. Now, I want to look huh. at the barrel. <laughs> That's all you gotta say about it. Hmm. <laughs> Wench control. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I hope not. I hope not. She'll get there. Okay. Come on. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He just woke up in the middle of the night, screaming his head off. He thinks he killed Herschel's son. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry. Fact of the matter is, we did. Oh. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, 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 shit! <sighs> oh, nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl, and she's gonna it's get a us girl. Killed. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. And actually. <laughs> Fuck, we gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. No! No! Go away! Go! Go away! Mm, that's no! tough. Oh God! Oh God! Please! No, because the gunshot will bring them to us. Gosh, does it end? Kind of wish I shot it. Should be good now. to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here, and then we gotta go. Hawker. She's gone. There's not much time now. I don't know, did I just go back to this crap? 
Wait, I collected everything. Or did I? I don't know. Okay, I guess Fuck! Just Incoming! Close. Come on, Lee! Up That's and over. Good. Stuff shouldn't be too heavy. Whoa. Where did he just go? Where? Oh. Still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, Jesus. From here on out, I'm gonna try to decide like things how what I would do if I was in that position in the zombie apocalypse. Though I already know I probably won't have a huge leader role, but you know how would I play it? I from up till now I've been trying to be like the nice guy, but now I'm gonna have to start making harsh decisions. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? 
You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile marked, No Hypocrites, and you can use everything else. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! Be quiet. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. <sighs> Things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Heh <laughs> heh. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he looking at that booty. Alright. So what am I gonna do? I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. You haven't really been sleeping. Don't start in on that. You've been through a trauma. And you're not taking care of yourself. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. And then I key a you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can all I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Oh. The shadows <laughs> I tried to hit one but uh, I hit the thing that takes screenshots so now there's constant screenshots going on now duck will help oh Jesus 
talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Ooh. I think about I you too. Think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. <sighs> You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. Aww. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Mm. Yeah, I guess I'd probably, like, tell Kenny. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. <gasps> yeah. Don't call me small. Ooh. Petite. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor in a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Mm-hmm. Ah, right. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about you. I'm gonna tell Kenny. No, not the stairs. In the next episode. <laughs> Peace.